All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me again for day 17 now of our Christmas 2023 devotional series. These have been going very well. I've been getting great feedback and I pray it continues to bless you. Today we'll be reading from Luke 2, 15 to 16. Let's see what it says and get into today's devotion. It says, when the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. Guys, today I want you to pay attention to the context of this verse. Look at what happened and how it happened. It says, when the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds now, they said to one another, let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened. So they wanted to go see what was going on. They wanted to go see what this was all about. This baby who was going to be born to rule the world, right? Who is this child that is born and from birth he is destined to be a king? Who is this child they wanted to go see? Which the Lord had told them about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in a manger. You know, the principle that I want to share in today's devotion is sometimes we have to act with haste. We have to act with speed towards the things of God. You can find Jesus, but timing, timing is so important. See, I believe that our lives, it, it, it works in seasons. There's a season for everything. There's a season for blessing. There, there, there's a time for mourning. There's a time for different things, right? Uh, generally, a season of mountaintops is followed by a season of valleys. So you can get to another mountaintop and so on and so forth. There's ups and downs that we face in life. And anytime there's a, a slight pullback or setback, that generally can propel you forward. So a setback isn't always a bad thing, right? But what I'm saying here today is I want to encourage you to act in haste. Act in haste. You know, generally we see in the universal church today, there's a problem with being on time and, and lateness and stuff like that. But Jesus was on time to be born. He was on time to be born, right? When Mary had to give birth and there was no room in the inn because he was so on time, he decided to, to, to be born in a manger in the lowliest of places. A king being born in a manger because he wanted to be on time to, to, to show up in this world for me and you. Be on time when it's your time to pray. Be on time when it's your time for family devotions. Be on time when it's time for church. Be on time this Christmas. Don't miss out on your blessing. You know, what would have happened? What would have happened if Abraham disobeyed God and didn't follow the instructions to the T when he was about to sacrifice his son Isaac? What would have happened if he waited a day? Would that angel have showed up? Now I'm just speaking hypothetically, maybe the angel would have, maybe he wouldn't. But generally, sometimes if you miss an opportunity, the opportunity does not present itself right away again. You have to wait a while. So I encourage you today, Act with haste and take the opportunity. You can have, now you might be saying, well, how do I act with haste? Do I just run around doing everything quickly? No, it's not that. All I'm saying is that this Christmas season is the right Christmas season for you to receive Jesus into your life, for you to let Jesus come in and make all things new, for you to let Jesus come in and, and make a difference. If there's never been a Christmas season that you've acted and let Jesus come in and really change your life, I encourage you to do it this year. I encourage you to do it this year. Do it in this Christmas season. Do it in this season where you're around family and friends and you have a church family that's so close to you. Do it now. Don't wait to give your life to God. Give your life to God right now. Change something today that you need to change for, 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 for the rest of your life in this Christmas season. Decide that now you put away all the bad habits. Decide that now you put away the sins that so easily besets you. Decide that now you will make a change for the better. Don't wait till the new year comes. Act with haste now. Receive Jesus in now and let him be a new creation in your life. Guys, have an awesome day today. God bless you. Let's pray and get into tomorrow's devotion. Father, we come before you in no other name but the mighty name of Jesus. We see how the shepherds acted in haste and hurried off to meet you, Lord Jesus. Lord, Help us to act in haste as well. Help us to do things in our lives quickly, not to delay, Lord God, 
not to delay the change and the plans that you have for, for us, not to delay, Lord God, you giving your life for us and us accepting you. Let us not delay such a thing, Lord God. Let us move quickly, Lord God. Let us take advantage this Christmas, not next year, not the following year. Let us take advantage now of your salvation and your saving power. And I